Now, the Mediterranean diet has been ranked the best in the world for five years running, and with research showing it might help me live longer, it's worth changing my taste buds to Greek or Italian mm. or Spanish. It'll help everyone live longer, mm. not just you. Do I need to eat bigger portions because I'm older? Do, does it? I don't longer? think so, no. Sarah no. no. Uh, definitely not bigger portions because you're older. I think bigger portions maybe if you're a teenager, but uh, no, I'm sorry. You're a fully grown adult male. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but Kosh, you'd need to eat more than me, for example. Oh, 100%. Yeah, absolutely, because mm. he's taller and yeah. he, yes, definitely. Oh, okay. So right. let's start with the wine. Ah. No, <laughs> all right, we'll leave that to the end. <laughs> start where you want to start, Mediterranean start. diet. Well, the Mediterranean diet is not really a diet. Just like you said, it's, it's from those regions. It really is a way of life. And the basic guidelines you look at following is lots of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, whole grains. That's what the majority of the diet is about. Then the next tier down would be white proteins. So things like, that, when I say moderate consumption, I mean like two to three times a week. That's things like fish and chicken as well as yogurt eggs yep. and dairy now things like red meat you would be having that like once a month and discretionary things right. like chocolate literally once a month but tell so me you why this were stuff works better than anything else because it's all the plant-based proteins you're getting it's nutrient density lots of vitamins and minerals plus lots of fiber as well which is really important for your gut health for lowering your risk of heart disease as well as weight loss oh as well as lowering your risk of diabetes brain healthy brain function we can link to it as well lots of health benefits and when you look at it almost nothing is processed nothing's processed is that it, it nothing's mm. processed because it's to the way that people live around the Mediterranean that's right. why that's why I refer to it more like a way of life than mm. actually a diet people will take on this diet if they really want to improve their health and it's okay. more about lowering your risk of disease right. as opposed to weight loss or something so like what that. does a day look like on a plate let's I, start with breakfast okay so starting with breakfast it would be something here like I've done where I've got yogurt which is all your good protein great for gut health kiwi which is so good for helping pe keep people regular but one kiwi fruit will actually give you 66 percent of your recommended daily intake of vitamin C. And there was a new study that came out about vitamin C showing, showing not only is it great for our immune system, it's fantastic for cognitive function too. That was a recent study I saw. Nuts and nuts are great oh. because they'll keep you full. They've got the plant-based uh, proteins and all that great for musculoskeletal system and all that wonderful vitamin E. Now something for lunch. Now this is a vegetarian option here. So you'd be looking at something such as a, a whole grain sourdough like I've got here. Now I've got tomato. There's or your lycopene, great for heart health, fantastic for prostate. Also lots of basil in there, which is wonderful for lowering blood pressure. I've got balsamic vinegar in there, which is good for lowering blood pressure as well as cholesterol. And then um, olive oil. Now the big thing about the Mediterranean diet is you're consuming olive oil. And I would estimate around a tablespoon a day, it's got oleic acid in it, oleocanthol in it, wonderful for heart health in general. And I put avocado on top of this because at the end of the day, it is a vegetarian meal. And the good fats will help keep you full okay. and get you through the day. It looks Dinner. beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's it delicious. Look delicious. Mm. You should try that, actually. Mm. I made that this morning. So here for dinner, you'd be doing something like some fish, brown rice. I think people underestimate just how good brown rice is. It's got lots of vitamins and minerals in it's it. It's lots of carbs. Doesn't it, that yeah, put it on is, weight? No, carbs in moderation, half a cup's fine. You know, for weight loss, if you're trying to lose weight, then right. you would need to cut back on carbs. But for weight, for healthy weight maintenance, yes, half right. a cup of half mm. a cup would be great. And then I've just got some parsley through there. I've got olive oil through there as well. So this is something that would be fabulous for dinner as well with the, just a mixture of vegetables okay. and some parsley on top. For snacks, you would be doing something mid-morning, like an apple, which has just got its vitamins and what's, minerals, what's its antioxidants. What's the brown stuff? Oh, that's nut butter. Okay, that is a nut butter. So I've got no. some almond butter in there, which is delicious. Great, so you, you would just, that up. you would just. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Sarah's known for coming in and serving no. up. <laughs> <laughs> right, that looks great. I'm not sure about the apples. Stuff, yeah, right? no, the apples are great. Yeah, They're gorgeous yum. apples. And then maybe for afternoon tea, because the diet is rich in legumes, you'd be looking at something like hummus, which is great for lowering cholesterol. It's, it's, it's also oh. been linked to being fantastic for maintaining a healthy weight. Plus, it keeps you full with some vegetable sticks there. Now, on this diet, so much about the Mediterranean diet is about eating with your family. It's about community. It's about lowering your stress levels. And it's also about doing 
doing regular exercise. So it's a holistic approach to health. But they also have that you can have red wine on the diet, one to two glasses a day, and that would be because of, and I think oh, this is also why it's incredibly yeah. popular, but I and think it, that and would, is, is that a standard drink for your one or that, two a day? That's, yes. that's, no, that's, that's, like a, a, <laughs> that's my sort of pool. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Beauty. <laughs> this diet's looking good. Yeah, 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 I know. So that's a I'm, okay, so yeah, that looks like a double serve. That's uh, probably right. your daily limit. Uh, but it's okay. the resveratrol. You're drinking lots of water. Coffee and tea are fine, but you have to be careful of what you add to the coffee and tea in the way of like cream and sugar and that kind of stuff. Okay. But it's a way of life, the Mediterranean, and there's so much the evidence behind it. It smells so. gorgeous, doesn't it? <laughs> Yum. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you can find all the recipes on the Sunrise website.